Hi guys, it's Danny from the Scrap FX design team for 2021. Today I'm doing a junk journal page in my Scrap FX junk journal craft kit. It's a nice easy one today. So I've opened up the craft junk journal and I've just selected a page. This is the front cover and the first page of my junk journal. And I'm just going to lay down some colors. I'm being a little bit more organic, I don't want to cover up all that beautiful craft paper. So I'm sort of paintedly popping down little splotches of paint and also doing a little bit of mark making as well. So just sort of randomly brushing that paint on and not trying to cover up all the background completely with paint. But again, still sort of um, making some marks and and doing a little bit of brush strokes as well as just sort of brushing the paint in. This is a lovely way to pop down a bit of paint and get a nice bright background but also leaving a little bit of negative space there as well. So just going back over on some of the translucent yellow paints, just giving it a second coat and adding a little bit more red in there. Just where I've lost the first start of the brush strokes in the red. So just layering the colours up, giving it a quick dry. And now I'm using one of the Scrap FX stencils. This one's called Crossword Stencil. And I'm just adding that tealy tone throughout the background now. And just extending those little, little cubes right up to the edge of the page. Now this is a second um, scrap effect stencil. This one is called Moroccan Tiles. And I'm just using a little bit of red to stencil that in as well. Just to give it a little bit more mark making in the background there. And the third stencil I'm using today is called Random Dots. Again, a scrap effect stencil just incorporating those colors that were in the background in the stencils as well. Now a little bit of stamping this one is one of my favorites number crunch stamps and I'm just sort of randomly stamping that across and this one is the seaweed stamp as well which I'm using archival ink in the yellow. Now to my Posca pens and I'm just going to doodle over the top of those stamped areas and the stenciled areas. Just making a little bit more mark making in the background with a little pop of colours from the Posca pens. Some little dashes over those crossword stencils and now just a bit of doodling around those little circles from the random dot stencil as well. highlighting some of those brush strokes. Now this is the um, rice paper. It's called Scribbly Faces B. I've used a wet paint brush and I'm just sort of tearing away at the excess paper. This gives me a fuzzy little edge and so it sort of incorporates into the background without those harsh lines. It's a great way of adding rice paper to your art journal without having all those um, harsh lines. And I'm this time going to use it um, without putting any gesso on the back. I want them to be sort of translucent and have all that colour popping through the rice paper. So now I'm just gluing it down with some matte medium. And you can see all the colours are popping through the face from the underneath painting, which is what I was looking for. Giving them a quick dry now with my heat tool. And then using a uniball eye here, I'm just sort of continuing that scribbling list around the faces to sort of incorporate that into the background and really mesh it, the um, rice paper into the background so it looks like it's been drawn in instead of placed over the top and glued down. Just doing a little bit of Posca pen in the whites of the eyes.
and now I'm using some chunky Stabilo colours to colour in the eyes here. I'm just picking up a little bit of the colour from the tip of the pencil with a wet paintbrush. And so just water colouring those over the top of the rice paper. And now working on the lips again with those Stabilo All pencils. And now I'm adding a little bit of that mark making over the top of the rice paper too. This really incorporates the rice paper into the background so it really meshes together. And now I'm just highlighting some of those areas that I really wanted to pop through on the rice paper. It wasn't bright enough. So again, I've just gone back to those chunky Stabilo pencils and I'm just adding a little bit more colour just to make those faces really pop on the page. Now just going back over with my Uniball pen just to darken those eyes and now I'm using the Transparency Art Words and I've cut out a few of those little sayings that really resonated with me today. And I'm just sort of placing them randomly on the page, working out where I want to pop them, just auditioning them. And I get a little bit crazy because there were so many great quotes in that little transparency. And I soon realized that there was just way too much. Sometimes less is more. So I've really cut back on those and decided just to keep a few of those little quotes. So I'm going to glue those down with matte medium once I've decided where I want them all. The matte medium is a great way to stick down your transparency because once it dries, um, it dries clear so you don't see or how you've adhered those little phrases onto your page. Now I've just used this to below all just to put a little bit of shadowing around those phrases as well. So I've just um, wet them down now and I'm just activating that stibula all around just to give the, the little phrases a bit of a pop off the page as well. Give them a bit of a shadow behind them. And I think it really works well with the scribbly faces as well. Just that pop of black. And of course what page wouldn't be finished with a bit of fluoro so just put a blob of paint down and I'm watering that down to a nice consistency to splatter onto the page. And then using my finger, I'm just going to go around the edges of my pages as well and just rub a little bit of that pink fluoro into the page. Just as a bit of a border really. And that's it. One page, very quickly made and if I don't say myself, it's come up really well. So I hope you have a go at these um, scrap effects rice papers. They're a nice way to get a quick page out. Thanks for watching. Please leave us a comment and a thumbs up and we'll see you next time.